back to my channel. I am so excited for today's video. It is definitely a special one. Bunky and I are about to have a serious feast. We are making all of the Thanksgiving side dishes and I even bought a spiral glazed ham to go along with our dinner tonight. And fun fact, that is like one of my favorite foods of all time. And I cannot have spiral glazed ham without mashed potatoes and macaroni and cheese. So even though you have seen me make these before, I'm definitely making them again because why not? It is Thanksgiving and I think we're also going to make like a little bit healthier version of a green bean casserole. So I think it's going to turn out really delicious and who knows what else we'll make and get into. But I'm so excited to share these recipes with y'all and I hope that they give you all the inspiration. I hope you make them for your family this Thanksgiving. If this is your first time stopping by, I'm so glad that you did. We do lots of cooking and I would love for you to join our YouTube family. So before you leave, be sure you hit that subscribe button. Y'all give this video a thumbs up if you're so excited excited to eat all the goodness for Thanksgiving and let's go ahead and get cooking. So first things first is we need to get this ham in the oven because that's what's going to take the longest. This is like a four and a half, almost four and a half pound ham. So it's like 10 minutes per pound. So it's going to take about 45, 50 minutes. Um, so I want to go ahead and get that going. Can we preheat the oven? What temperature? It is um, 325 degrees. And then we're going to get some water boiling for our macaroni and cheese. And also because we're going to blanch our green beans and red bell pepper together. It's going to be like a different spin on green bean casserole. Um, I need two pots of water boiling. And <laughs> I asked you guys, oh, Bunky. Yeah. We got to boil water for the potatoes too, though. I, I know. We, we, uh, I guess I'm going to leave this little pot. Yeah, we're going to get water boiling in this pot too. Okay, we're going to have to do like multiple <laughs> like rounds of things. And also over on Instagram, whenever I asked you guys earlier a couple weeks ago what you wanted to see as far as Thanksgiving goes, a lot of you told me cocktail recipes. So I actually have a really yummy cocktail recipe to share as well. Bunky found it today and it sounds amazing. So he went out and got all of the things to make it. So we have that. And also my mom called and was like, what are y'all doing tonight? I'm like, we're making this huge Thanksgiving feast. She's like, who's all going to eat this food? I'm like, I think just me and Bunky. She was like, no, I'm bringing over the entire family. So now my entire family is coming over and we have like one hour to get all of this. Okay. Going. Cooking instructions. We're going to remove from packaging, reserve liquid, place ham, cut side down in a large sheet of foil in a roasting pan, pour reserved liquid over ham and then wrap completely with foil and then warm in the oven for 10 to 12 minutes per pound. So, take this out of here. Meanwhile, down here, we have every pot that we own filled with water and bringing it to a boil. Bunky, I just don't know which one we're going to do in this smaller one. Oh, I just got that going just to have extra hot water. Oh my gosh, you are so funny. You're supposed to cook potatoes from cold water, remember? We do. <laughs> well, why don't I just turn this off then or turn it down low? Turn it, turn it up all the way down now. Okay. No, don't yeah. you touch those. Yes, I am. Don't you touch Bunky. them. Bunky. They're perfect. Baby. They're all the same size. They're gonna take, they're gonna be here for 45 years if we don't cut these a little smaller. We ain't got time to have these things so big. Well, at least you just cut, you cut them in half. Okay. That's all you do. You cut all of them in half. Okay. No, you, see, you already, you're already trying me. <laughs> Bunky, it is totally fine. No, uniform cook, even chunks. Okay. All right, y'all listen, I'm gonna cut Bunky's potatoes in half so they cook a little faster. Um, 
He is going to cut our red bell pepper into strips because you guys know he's always better at that. And then I have all of the green beans here as well. So once we get kind of everything prepped, we can start actually cooking. Yeah. Okay, y'all, so I'm just making my very simple macaroni and cheese. There's literally like four ingredients plus some salt and pepper, but it is so creamy and cheesy and yummy, and I love like slopping my ham and mashed potatoes through all that cheese. Oh my gosh, so yummy. So I'm just gonna start by adding my elbow noodles here and get them cooked. Okay, so here we have our pot of water, but um, we turned it all the way down since potatoes do better, like being brought to a boil. We do it. I always get nervous. Yeah. So, yep. Oh, lost it. I, mean, I think you put a lot of water in the pot. If it starts boiling, it's going to boil over. You better keep an eye on it then. No, I'm going to take some out. Okay, so I'm gonna add some salt and then we'll bring the potatoes to a boil. Okay, so our mac and cheese is done. So I'm gonna go ahead and drain that and then I'll add like all of our cheese, butter, milk and let that kind of start melting. And then we're gonna be at like a little bit of a stopping place. So we're gonna have our bartender <laughs> make us cocktail. Mixing it up. Y'all, our dishwasher is going, so sorry if it's like a little bit loud in the background, but I have a 16 ounce block of Velveeta right here. It's just the Walmart brand, and I'm gonna start with about three fourths of it, and then if we need the rest of it, we can add it in. But I like to just kind of like take it down the center and then cut chunks. That way it melts a lot easier and faster. And then also to our macaroni and cheese, we're gonna add in some butter, just about a tablespoon of sour cream and some milk and let this all kind of come together. You can make it as runny or as thick as you want. I like it to have a little bit of juice, like I told you guys, so I can kind of like sop everything up in it. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep this on like a low, low to medium and let that all kind of melt. I just um, tested our potatoes. They still need like another minute or two. So, Mr. Bartender, it is cocktail time. Okay, right. since my family is coming over, I decided to just get out this cute little pitcher and we'll just make kind of like a batch of this. Does that sound good to We're you? We'll make a pitcher of it. Yes. So. Tell us what all is involved in our cocktail here. Um, we have, we are making, um, it's a version of a Christmas mule, I think it was called. And one of my favorite cocktails ever of all time is a mule, and especially this time of year, it is my go-to. Yeah, so we have here some spiced rum. We have some apple cider. Uh-huh. We've got some crayon palm. The recipe suggested just pomegranate juice but i think you know cranberries are the christmas season I think that and thanksgiving so good. you know you have cranberry sauce at thanksgiving yes so. and then some limes here okay and some ginger beer for the fizzation this sounds amazing okay it's like right in my alley all right now let me uh pull the destructions out here okay. <laughs> because I'm gonna have to like multiply everything by eight. By eight? Well, just yeah, four? Sure. Whatever you wanna do. Well, I mean, there's five of us, so that's it. I gotta do, I'm not doing the crazy math, Bunky. Okay. And then we need two ounces of pomegranate juice. So we need two cups total here. Let's 
is the good stuff right here. <laughs> the apple cider. The high quality. Yes. And we will leave this um, recipe typed out down below for y'all so you'll have it. Do, uh, just some lime juice in there. It says half ounce per, so we're going to kind of like eyeball. We can make um, little wedges out of the other lime and everybody can have their own little one to squeeze. It actually said to serve with apple slices in. Oh, that would be drink. good. That would be fun, right? Yeah. And then yes. ginger beer, that's it? Well, so I think you're supposed to like pour this into your cup and you like top it with ginger beer. Oh, let's do that. You don't like mix it all Okay, together. let's do that. Yeah. Okay, the timer just went off, so it's time to get the ham out of the oven. And the potatoes are done boiling, so I need to get those smashed. And we still have to make the green bean casserole. So hopefully this is all going to come together. But we got to taste test this yummy cocktail that Bunky made us. <laughs> it's so good, Bunky. Oh my gosh. It is amazing. That is one of the best holiday drinks I've ever tasted. It tastes <laughs> like a cup full of cheer <laughs> but seriously though it's like so refreshing mm. and crisp a little bit sweet a little bit the ginger tart. beer gives it a little little fizz yeah y'all this is amazing like it's delicious so good and i love 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 moscow mule this is like probably one of the best ones i've ever had i'm not even joking I, yeah i, I, I like it better better than a regular moscow mule yeah you guys will have to try this like it is so yum <sighs> Ooh. Look at that, huh? That's what I'm talking about. What are you going to do with that, Bunky? Unwrap it and put some yummy glaze on it. <laughs> Let's give this mac and cheese a stir. Yeah, I forgot about it. I got to stir it. Oh, it's looking good. Are you going to put some like shredded cheese in here? I will if you want me to. Um, well, we don't have to if you don't want to. I think it'll be good. Let me get this like lighting down so y'all can see it. Look at how like creamy and yummy and cheesy that is. Oh my gosh. If you want to add shredded cheese, you totally can. You just don't have to. And if you feel like you need more milk, then just add more milk. Okay, we got to get on these potatoes. Okay, first off to these potatoes, I'm going to go ahead and add some milk and butter. And then we'll go ahead and start smashing them. One day I'm gonna end up getting myself a potato masher, but for the time being, I just use my little Pamper Chef tool and it works just as good. And as far as measurements go, I honestly just eyeball the milk and butter. I probably use about three fourths of a stick of butter and I do one heaping tablespoon of sour cream, one heaping tablespoon of mayo, salt and pepper, and to me, that makes the most perfect, delicious, silky and yummy mashed potatoes. Okay, ham is out of the oven. We're gonna go ahead and add our glaze to the top and this is my favorite part. I also make my own glaze sometimes. It's super simple. All you have to do is add butter, brown sugar, and mustard, melt it in the microwave, and it's just as yummy. here what's up family <laughs> okay we still got to make these green bean casserole healthy addition so we're gonna go ahead and blanch the bell pepper and green beans funky has some mushrooms that we have just washed and sliced up we're gonna make like a little vinaigrette to go on top I think they're gonna be really good so as soon as our water boils we'll go ahead and throw these in and then whenever we pop them out we'll add them to like an ice bath to keep them from cooking any further so for this green bean casserole, we're going to make like a little vinaigrette that we're going to toss it in. I call it casserole. Maybe we shouldn't call it that. Green bean. Dish. Dish. Okay. <laughs> Bunky's going to add some olive oil. And then we're going to add some Dijon mustard, a splash of Worcestershire. I'm going to do just a splash of apple cider vinegar because I like that with my green beans. I think it like brings out the freshness. Okay, babe, that's good. Oh, okay. sorry. And then some salt and pepper. So super easy, but I think it's going to give it a lot of flavor. So how much ACV would you like? Just a little splash. 
How much of this? Slash. Good. Keep going, B. Lots of Dijon. Okay, that's good for now. Okay. And then we'll add some salt and pepper. What's this together? And it'll be good to go. A lot of you have asked me for healthier recipes and so I was really trying to think outside of the box on this one. I saw something similar to it one time and so I just started thinking like what can I add together to kind of be a super delicious healthier version of a green bean casserole and honestly I am just so tickled with myself with how this one turned out. Oh my god this right here. <laughs> That smells heavenly, Bunky. Yes. For real. Okay, so that is just mushrooms and garlic that I sauteed in butter. And we're going to add those to the top of our green beans and red bell pepper. All the goodness here? All the goodness. Ooh. Okay, now we're going to toss that with our vinaigrette. Okay, let me give this a little sh zhuzh. Okay. A zhuzhing. And then just... Yep. Not all of it, though. You'll tell me when to stop, yep. right? I think pretty much, okay. That, that's a good start. Yeah. I mean, I think you can use all of it, but toss that and see. I mean, you, you know, you don't want it like too... Right. Mmm. Doesn't that look so good? I think that was the perfect amount of sauce, boo. Okay, we're gonna add a little salt and pepper to this. <laughs> and then the star of the show, we're gonna add as many crispy fried onions as you want to the top of this and Bunky likes a lot of them. I'm gonna put in a whole container. <laughs> that way you still have that like crunch. That good? Mm-hmm. You think? A few more. Okay. That's and good. there you have it. A healthy version semi green bean casserole. You think it's gonna be good? Mm-hmm. I totally forgot to end this video after dinner, but we had such a good time just hanging out and enjoying all of this delicious food. Bunky has named my green bean dish. He's called it Green Bean Delight. So apparently that's the name of it. And y'all, my entire family raved about it all night long. Bunky has already asked me to make it again very soon. So you will have to try it and tell me what you think. But we love you guys so much and thank you for hanging out with us in the kitchen. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Give this one a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye y'all.